There is outrage over a new video of a journalist detained in Belarus. Now, it comes nearly two weeks after he was pulled off of a plane and arrested. State television in Belarus broadcast a very emotional interview in which Roman Protasevich confesses to organizing the riots. His supporters say that he made these comments under duress or even torture. As Holly Williams reports, he appears to have wounds on his wrist and at times echoed government statements. I never want to get involved in politics again, said a tearful Roman Protasevich in a 90-minute video on Belarusian state TV. Part of a forced confession, according to his friends and family, coerced by the regime of President Alexander Lukashenko. He's a close ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, who's ruled Belarus with an iron fist for more than 26 years. In the video, Protasevich admitted to trying to topple the president, apparently a reference to demonstrations last year after Lukashenko claimed to have won nearly 80 percent of the vote in an election widely considered a sham. Protasevich was flying from Athens to Lithuania last month when Belarusian authorities forced the plane to redirect to their capital, claiming a bomb threat thought to be an excuse to arrest the dissident and condemned by President Biden as shameful. <sighs> Protasevich's supporters claim wounds on his wrists suggest he's been tortured. His father, Dmitry, says his son has been broken and nobody should believe the confession. If convicted, Roman Protasevich faces a prison term of up to 15 years for organising mass unrest. But when he was taken from the plane, other passengers reportedly heard him say, quote, I'll get the death penalty here. Anthony. Thanks. Holly Williams in London. That video is so upsetting to watch. It's I can't, chilling. Yeah, it's absolutely chilling. upsetting. You can see the duress and you can see the pain. It's very, very frightening. Yeah.